We created this video using a Galaxy S2 that was infected with the FBI ransom virus. Fortunately, the virus loads slowly enough on this phone that it could be removed before it disabled the handset. If you're not able to duplicate this procedure, you'll probably have to wipe your data using a hard reset. If you can boot the phone into safe mode, which you should be able to do some of the time, you might be able to follow these same steps to delete the virus without having to do the reset. This is Mike from GoCellPhoneRepair.com, and today we're looking at a nasty little virus. You can see that President Obama is up there, and he wants you because you've been downloading all kinds of weird porn onto your phone. So uh, chances are that's not really what happened. But the good news is that if you want to send him $300 for ransom, uh, with the dollar sign on the wrong side of the figure, of course, they'll be willing to excuse you for your... Uh, horrible crimes that you've committed. So there's a number of different ways that you can get this virus. It may be attached to some sort of Android file. You might have gone to a wear site or a porn site. I don't know. But with this official looking badge here, everyone should be scared and send $300. I wonder if anybody really does that actually. The more frustrating thing is a lot of the times this thing totally disables your phone to the point where all you can really do is turn it on and off. You can't use the home buttons, menu button, search button. Nothing works except for the power button. So you can reboot, power it off, pull the battery, and that's about it. And uh, it's shortly after turning the phone on, this is what happens. It just blanks everything out and you're stuck on this stupid screen. So we're going to try uh, a couple different methods here. First of all, we're going to start with the hard, um, excuse me, try to enter the bootloader menu or the safe mode option so that we can turn the phone on without the virus loading. That's the plan anyways. Uh, unfortunately, the first couple of attempts, and if you haven't done a hard reset before, there's more information in the video description. Usually you're going to use a uh, volume down. I, I keep saying hard reset. What I mean is if you want to get to the bootload, bootloader, you're going to use a combination of buttons. It might be volume down and power, volume up and power. Both of the volume buttons together, uh, usually one of those combinations will put you into a menu where you can select safe mode for the phone to power up. Now on this phone, I was not able to do that for some reason. It kind of acted a little strange. It would show the Samsung logo, but it would never go to the splash screen until I released the buttons. It wouldn't go to any other type of uh, boot mode, but it would actually completely reboot as soon as I released the buttons. So. It's really weird how this happened. I don't know if that was a result of the virus or if there maybe there's a custom ROM on the phone or what the problem was, but what it ended up meaning is that we could not get into safe mode using this combination of buttons. And we're going to try it one more time here. I'm doing the volume up and the power, but again, you can see I'm pretty much getting the same results. So uh, if you're able to get to a menu that shows you a safe mode option by using one of these combinations of buttons, I would recommend you try that. What I did is I tapped here on the menu button repeatedly as the phone was booting up, and you'll see here shortly that it actually did give me the option to go into the safe mode menu. And right down there on the bottom left, you see we're actually in safe mode. So from here, we might have been able to remove it that way, but I'm going to do a couple other procedures here just to show you, um, ironically, how on this phone, because it's so old, the processor is so slowed and bogged down by the version of Android that it's running, it took so long for the virus to load that we can actually just go in there and delete it while we're waiting for everything to boot up. So we'll start it up here uh, one more time. And again, no luck. I'll, I'll, we're getting the splash screen. And once you see that, that means you ha you're just going to get a normal boot up. So um, what we're going to do here, I'll speed this up because I did try it again. Again, you know, just different combinations of buttons. No luck with this one whatsoever. So here we notice that when the phone turns on, you actually have a little bit of time to go in and navigate before the virus takes over. So uh, again, you can see how slow this phone is. It just takes forever to do anything. And that actually worked in our favor this time because the customer was at his wits end, didn't know what to do, and did not want to delete the information on the phone. So here you can see we're accessing the applications menu. And from here you scroll through and you'll see something called private video. Now apparently this is a culprit in this situation. You may have a different file in here, but if you uninstall this private video app that's on the phone, that will prevent the virus from operating. There are some videos inside the phone that still need to be deleted in order to get rid of everything completely, but as long as you don't open them up, you shouldn't have this problem. So what we're going to do 
here in just a minute is we'll open up these files that I'm referring to. And I think it's in the My Files folder, if I remember correctly. And we'll go ahead and open, I went too far, open this one up. And if you scroll through, you'll see a number of videos that have a little icon, little red icon. I believe it's an F uh, or an I or something. Anyways, if you click on these and you run the package installer, this will actually put the virus back onto the phone. And you can see it loading right now, private video. So uh, I guess that was an I. Now we've got the virus back on the phone and now we know where it's coming from. So the main thing is we want to go in and delete that one application and then of course I would recommend you go in and delete all of these videos and once you do that you shouldn't have to worry about it again um, as long as nobody takes your phone anywhere that they shouldn't be going and if you're it's a little tough with the Android market we assume that most of those applications are safe but every once in a while something does slip through so you want to be really careful and make sure you're getting using reputable sources hope that you don't have to do this. Of course, it's always a good idea to back up your information just in case because you never know what might happen. So we're going to go through the process one more time here of removing this rogue application. Just kind of waiting for the screen to unlock. There we go. And from here, we're going to go into settings scroll down to applications and then you can see once again the private video uh, whatever it is virus has installed itself so we'll click on the uninstall and again from now from here I would go back to any video that has that little red icon make sure you delete those and if you see anything you don't recognize uh, it's probably a good idea to get rid of that as well and from there on we should be good If you found the video helpful, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and feel free to share it on the social media platform of your choice. For more information, visit us on the web at gocellphonerepair.com. Thanks for watching.